So guys, since it's 2020, it's a new year, in the spirit of the new year, and in the spirit of being as transparent with you guys as I can on this channel, I'm gonna go over all the passive income that I made in regards to three things with this channel. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys had a great new year. And if you're new to the channel, I'm Michael Romero. I'm just a small time YouTuber, small time investor, trying to do some big things in this year coming up. And we will be doing some big things in this year coming up. But guys, I see a lot of people on YouTube the past couple of days sharing how much money they made in 2019. So I figured I might as well do the same thing. Even though my channel is not monetized yet, wink wink hit that subscribe button and that like button uh even though it's not monetized yet i still made money from this channel with certain things and and today i'm gonna go over three areas that i made passive income and it all has to basically do with this channel itself so so i'm gonna pretty much go over go ahead and tell you how much money i made in the past year um of passive income and it wasn't necessarily an entire year, but it was a few months that really generated me all this income. It was a $314.12. And most of that was made in the last four months of the year, but I'm gonna go over everything and I'm gonna show you where this money came from and how much money I made and when. So for my passive income in 2020, uh, the first thing that I'm gonna go over is my dividend income. Um, of course, I'm going to talk about my dividend income because this is one of the main reasons why I started this channel to document how you guys can start this dividend income. Uh, and I'm only doing this with my uh, public portfolios, all my other stuff I'm not going over because that's not in correlation with this channel. I'm only doing things that I show you guys on this channel. So in dividend income, in a span of about four months, because I, remember I started this channel in April. I want to say of last year and I didn't start showing you guys investing well I didn't start investing publicly on this channel I didn't open up an account until about four months before the end of the year so about September I want to say but nonetheless um, dividend income I made $33.91 that was the last four months of the year that I made all that and this is from my Robinhood portfolio and my M1 finance portfolio I just combined the two together to uh, come up with this number. And guys, as you can see here, this was September, see how small it is? This was October, grew a little bit bigger. November, grew a little bit bigger, and December. And this is how the dividend income is gonna grow over the next year. We might have some a little bit smaller than previous, but it's going to grow over time as we are reinvesting our dividend income we get from these dividend stocks. Um, that's called what compound interest. So guys the next uh, Way that I gained passive income would be capital gains from my public portfolios And that would be M1 finance and Robinhood. Like I said, I combined the two together I, I separated the dividend income from the capital gain income purposely uh, so what I got from the capital gains was a hundred and seventy nine dollars and seventy nine cents and remember guys, that was also the last four months of the year because I only opened up the Robinhood portfolio in September and I opened up the M1 Finance portfolio in December or mid-November, but then I switched the portfolio up for 2019 um, in the beginning of December. So guys, with just my two portfolios, my dividend income, which was $33.91, and my capital gains, which was $179.79. Those two together, just in four months, made me $213.70 in passive income, guys. And that was just the last four months of the year. And I'm not, and I wasn't adding much money each week. I think I was adding, I wanna say, anywhere from $35 to $50 a week to the portfolio. No less than $5 a day I was adding in the portfolio. But just imagine if I would've started that in, April whenever I started my YouTube channel uh, it would have been humongous by now you know it could have been closer to 500 capital gains and dividend income for my passive income for this year but we will definitely be adding more money in 2020 we have a whole year to see how this is gonna turn out for us guys uh, but so 
That's a total of $213.70 passive income for this. Now, the final area where I generated passive income from uh, in 2019 would be YouTube, would be the affiliate links that I leave in the description of my YouTube videos. Um, if you go to the, in this one too, I have some affiliate links for Robinhood, M1 Finance, and a few others. If you go in the description and you read that, every time one of you guys sign up for whatever the affiliate link is, whether it be Robinhood, Acorns, or M1 Finance, or Webull, it's pretty cool. I get a little pay from it, as well as you guys get a little pay from it. Um, with these programs, either they'll give you a free stock for just for signing up, or they'll give you a little bit of money to put in your portfolio. And when you guys sign up, I get the exact same thing. So they might give me $10 and they might give you $10 just for signing up. So if you wanna check out those affiliate links, go ahead and go in the description. There's a few in there, guys, if you wanna start investing this year. But with this form, with this affiliate link program that uh, a lot of you guys signed up for, since April, I made $100 dollars and 42 cents from you guys using these links to sign up whether it be um getting cash thrown into my accounts or free stocks thrown into my accounts which i usually sell because they usually don't give you the greatest stocks <laughs> and i like i'm pretty picky about what i put into my portfolio as you guys should be as well but i made a hundred dollars and 42 cents since may of 2019 now i did start my youtube channel in april but nothing really happened around that time. So May, I think I had two people sign up in May and for a long time, I think in, up until like toward the mid um, November, no one else signed up. So the last three months is really where I got most of that money from also. So as you can see, from April to November, nothing really happened. And I didn't really get any money from um, or I'm sorry, April to September. I didn't really get any money from YouTube. I didn't make any passive income. The last four months, I made $314.12 from this passive income, guys. And <clears throat> the reason I'm showing you this, it is a small amount of money. But what I'm trying to show you guys how easy it is to make passive income. I mean, it is hard work to do, but it's more attainable than you think. Just imagine, in four months, I made $300. This year coming up, I could be getting, I could be making closer to, to $100 a month or higher in passive income. And my goal for this year is to make no less than $50 a month in passive income, guys. Hopefully, hopefully, wink, wink, this YouTube channel gets monetized this year, guys. So basically, I'm, I'm showing you guys this to help you build your streams of passive income. Yes, it does start small. I, I started with pretty much nickel and dime in my way into this, okay? And I'm still kind of doing that, but this year I'm definitely taking a different approach. I'm trying to put more money into these accounts and really help, really try to make things kick off with this YouTube channel. Wink, wink, hit that like button uh, and that red subscribe button. But I hope this helped you out and it gave you more confidence to start your streams of passive income, um, at least to start a YouTube channel, to start investing there's different ways to to get passive income you can post things online and sell them you can create content and sell that and who knows you might do something online that would change the course of your life in the best way possible you don't know until you try guys it's 2020 you might as well start now because let's be honest we're not getting any younger um anyway guys i hope you found value out of this video and if you did go ahead and smash that like button for the youtube algorithm because it really helps this channel out a lot guys and if you're still watching this video and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button, turning it gray so you can join this little family we got going on and see the big things that's gonna come in 2020. And guys, let me know in the comments below what your passive income was for 2019 and how you plan on uh, changing it up in 2020 or if you plan on making the same course, guys. <laughs> Remember, I respond to each and every person that comments on this on these videos that I do um, but guys I'm gonna get out of here if you want to continue your journey to financial enlightenment with me all you have to do is click one of these videos alright guys have a great day